How's it going guys? I'm Hunter here with PPM Racing Products and with me today I have Mr. Randy. Uh, he's going to help me explain and show y'all some different types of uppers that we have. Uh, so Mr. Randy will tell y'all about our standard screw -in. has a 16 center bolt pattern for all truck type blade models. Uh, extra clearance at the bottom of the pocket for your dog pullovers that they have a lot of caster in them. 13 degree pocket that, that uh, takes a standard move or KA1 type ball joint. What was that part number? Uh, the move part number is the K772 and the QA1 uh, rebuildable low friction ball joint is a QA1-1210-105 for your standard pin height. And we do offer pins and other ball joints for uppers that have different pin lengths. As you can see, the, 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 the upper is uh, black, black powder coated uh, with the grease fittings on the top, which is easier to get to on the car. Uh, it's just a good standard strong upper. And uh, we also offer the SLF. I think uh, Hunter's going to tell you more about it. So this right here is our SLF upper. Uh, long like our standard screw-in, it has extra clearance at the ball joint pocket for your cool-over needs. Um, has 13 degree pocket. It also takes the Moog 772 and the QA1 1210 105. And like I said before, we offer them with different pin lengths for any adjustment that you guys would need. Um, with this upper, it gives you more availability and more adjustment. Um, with that being said, it is in most of the adjustment that you will have is in your cross shaft. Um, it has a half inch slot in it to adjust left and right for your caster. And this one comes with bronze light bushings, which are oil filled, which are perfect for just being able to grease it. It keeps these, there's no binding. There's it's just all very smooth when you get it put together and on the car. The reason for the bronze bushings is because in engineering, uh, in the engineering world, anything that indexes back and forth, they, they, they use a bushing instead of a bearing. It's just a more efficient way of, of taking care of the wire. And with the adjustability on this, uh, this shaft, you will see in it, that there is a bigger gap on this side than there is on this side. And we do that for, this big gap on this side will go to the left of the control arm for 10 inch control arms and bigger. Um, and then on the smaller side, it'll flip around and you will use it for the smaller sizes. And that just allows you, for the bigger stuff, it offsets it like that because most of your big stuff needs adjusted more than to one side than the smaller stuff does. So. These are well engineered and well designed pieces to allow you to have those adjustabilities for anything that you will need at the track. Um, and these are actually, these control arms, you can be able to take them apart to put them behind your uprights as well. Far as as your standard, you cannot. Um, the only, this is the only upper that we offer that you can do that with at an ease without having to cut the ball joint pocket for the bolting style uppers. So with that being said, we're going to show you how to put one of these together. Uh, you sure you know how? Sometimes I don't. Okay. I have to have one of my other colleagues put these together because sometimes I don't remember how to do it, which is okay because I don't remember a lot of things. Not that okay. Have you met me? Mm -hmm. Have you met me? One other time. So we're going to try to put this together and uh, see how well I do. I can sell it. Building's not my specialty. See how I don't put it in backwards. Look at that. Alright, so with this being a 10 inch upper, you will put your big gap on the left side. The first thing I like to do is put the shaft in and kind of get it in place because 
You can't put a shaft in with all the buttons and the nuts put on it. So, uh, I like to put the shaft in first and then I slip the bushings in there. And also on these bushings, they have a they have a hole drilled out in them for your alumite to screw down into to hold, number one, hold the bushing in place and also allow the flow of grease to get in between the bushing and the shaft. Um, and most of the time, it takes maybe one or two pumps of grease. I know some of y'all like to blow grease everywhere. It takes very little because it's a whole lot. But yes. It will, it will uh, put all, it will on itself when it gets heated. Yep. So, but like I said, you know, some people like to overdo it and that's, that's that. So anyways, I like to put the bushings in there, get them centered up and right, and then I put my alamites in. Which one? Okay, I just can't fit the hole right. Sometimes it's just an issue. There we go. Third time's the charm. And then get that all set in place. And then you can take your Eclipse. And there is a lip on the edge of this shaft. So you will kind of have to kind of look at it pretty close. But you get them evenly spaced out and you will slide these Eclipse in between the edge of the shaft. Okay, I'm not strong enough to push that down, obviously. But you will push the E-clip in between the shaft and the control arm bone. And then most of the time you can push them down or you can hammer them down and it ain't going to hurt it. Right. And then after that, you want to put on these washers, which actually, I don't know how to do it, so I'm going to have to have Randy do it for me. Um, they're, it's a little difficult, so if you don't care, Mr. Randy, we put them on for them. You don't know how to put washers Okay. I mean, do they just slide on? Do they spin on? Okay, they just, they just, just slide on. Okay. So then we take these nylon nuts and... If you don't have to put washers on, you probably don't have to put nuts on. You, it's left-hand thread, bro. Left-hand nut. Well, see, you're using your left hand, so that's what I figured. And they just stand on there. You stuck them down to where they tighten up there. Of course, you'll take your little, little small head in here and knock them in there and you're good to go. Perfection auto. So, and then, as always, the, it will come together and it'll look like this. It'll be all put together, all snugged up. This is the way you will receive it in your box. Um, with that being said, it is, I mean, it is well, well built. Uh, super low friction, almost no, almost, yeah, like, look at that, you see that? I had to use two hands because I have baby hands, but, uh, pretty, pretty. yep, I'm so great on the back side. Yep, so that way if you ever, no, if you ever, when you smack the wall or smack another car, just give us the part number off that shaft and we can get you the length. And, if you ever need a control arm and you need to know the length, the way that we measure them and the way that we off them is you'll flip it over and you will measure from the center of your ball joint pocket to the center of the shaft. That is how we measure our uppers and that's how we normally sell them. So if you call us in the upper, that's how you measure and you can give us that measurement and we will be more than happy to take care of them. So, like I said, that is how you will receive it. And then, if you need to put them behind the uprights, it's literally just reversed. You will just... I'm going to take it off, Brandon. Take your nuts off. Take your clips out. Of course, take your washers off. And now you have the movement. You will loosen up your alamites. And then you can... Take one. All you gotta do is just take one of the bushings out if you want. Take the shaft out, put it behind your uprights, and put it right back together like we showed you. And guys, that is that is it on our SLFs. Um, these are really cost efficient. Uh, your bearing uppers are 168.99, and these right here are 98.56. And these, in retrospect, these are a lot better. These hold up better. These are just way better than bearing ones. Whenever we 
get them, if they take a decent hit, the bearings go bad in them. Not, I'll, not at the very first hit, but the bearing one, this one is just a much better upper for the price. All right, guys, and that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you want to order one of your very own SLF uppers today, give us a call at 865-354-9669. And thank you for watching the video. If you don't care, hit that like and subscribe button. And you can also hit the bell notification to get notified whenever we post a video. And the links of everything else is right down in here somewhere, wherever he decides to put them. Tune in. There'll be new product releases. Yep. And we're going to try to get y'all a video every week on different products and show you how to set them up and everything else. Thank you guys for watching. We're good. And yeah. You gonna tell them how to get home?